All new for you at 5 o'clock. Forest closures remain, but with our snow this week, evacuation orders for the Yellow Lake fire are now lifted. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brian Malay and I'm Mallory Moore. The fire is at 33,000 acres, 30% 30 contained and Christian Sita is live with our top story right now. Christian. Yeah, that's right, Brian and Mallory. Now fire officials say that rain and sl snow did slow down, slow down the fire progression and no further growth is expected for four to five days. Now personal Personnel numbers on the Yellow Lake fire continue to decline as the fire activity slows down. Officials reported that personnel dropped from 889 to 433 in six days. Even with the rain and snowfall on Friday, fire officials said there's still heat along the fire's north side, the north fork of the Duchesne and the donut hole in the center of the fire perimeter. Today, smoke flare Flare-ups may occur due to the smoldering heavy fuels, duff, and leaf litter. Suppression efforts have shifted to repairing dozer lines, removing pumps and hoses, and implementing hydrological improvements. The analogy I used at briefing this morning, uh, it's kind of like a campfire where we tell people, you know, pour water on it, stir it, pour more water on it, stir it again. So we, we put the water on it, but we haven't done the stirring. It's going to literally take boots on the ground. We had an infrared flight last night over the fire. There's still a lot of isolated heat in the tracks where we have timber. How's your uh, there's some pretty dense canopy cover and a lot of dead and down fuel that's underneath that. We know the fire is human cause and it's still under investigation. Once we learn more information, we'll be sure to update you. Reporting live, Christian Sita, KUTV 2 News.